Adobe Premiere Pro vs iMovie is a comparison that comes up all the time, especially when you're just starting out and trying to figure out if you really need something professional or if the free option on your Mac is good enough. And while it might seem like Premiere Pro is the obvious winner just because it's used by the pros, the truth is, iMovie has a few tricks that might actually surprise you. Stick around until the end, because I'll explain one hidden strength of iMovie that even experienced editors sometimes miss. And if you decide Premiere Pro's the way to go, I've got a full beginner tutorial linked in the description that walks you through the whole process step by step. Let's start with the basics. Adobe Premiere Pro is Adobe's flagship video editing software, built for everything from YouTube videos and short films to full-blown commercial productions. iMovie, on the other hand, is Apple's free video editor that comes pre-installed on every Mac. So right away, the difference in price is massive. One is free. One is a monthly subscription. But it's not just about the cost, it's about what you can do with each one. Premiere Pro gives you full creative control. You can customize every frame, use professional effects, fine-tune audio, color grade with precision, and work with multiple cameras and layered timelines. It's powerful, but it's also a lot. If you're not familiar with editing tools, it can feel like stepping into the cockpit of an airplane. There are buttons, panels, and sliders everywhere, and figuring out what's what can definitely be overwhelming at first. That's one of the main reasons I made that beginner tutorial in the description. It helps cut through all the noise and shows you exactly how to get started without all the confusion. Now, iMovie is the opposite. It's clean, minimal, and super easy to use. You can drag and drop clips, add music, transitions, some basic titles, and export pretty quickly. If you're working on a simple project like a school assignment, a slideshow, or even a casual YouTube video, iMovie can absolutely get the job done. And since it's free and optimized for Mac, it runs smoothly, even on older machines. That's something Premiere Pro can struggle with if your system isn't built for editing. But here's the trade-off, iMovie is limited. You can't do advanced color grading, there's no support for things like motion graphics, and the timeline itself isn't nearly as flexible as Premiere's. You're basically working in a preset structure with fewer tools. That might sound like a deal breaker, but honestly, for some people, that's actually a good thing. The limitations force you to keep it simple, and that can help you finish projects faster without getting stuck in perfectionism. That said, if you want to grow as a creator, Adobe Premiere Pro is where you'll eventually end up. The freedom it gives you opens up all kinds of possibilities, and once you get past the initial learning curve, you'll never want to go back to something basic. You'll be able to edit faster, make your videos look more polished, and handle any type of content that comes your way. And here's the part most people overlook. You don't need to know everything to use Premiere Pro. A lot of people think they have to master every tool before they even start. But the truth is, you can do a ton with just the essentials. Dragging clips, trimming footage, adding audio. That's all you need to start, and everything else builds from there. That's exactly why I made the beginner tutorial that's linked below. It takes away the pressure and gives you a clear path to follow so you're not just clicking around aimlessly. So, Adobe Premiere Pro vs iMovie, what's the verdict? If you just want something fast, free, and easy, and you're not trying to get super fancy with your edits, iMovie is a solid option. But if you're ready to create more complex, professional-looking content, or even just want the room to grow into that, Premiere Pro is absolutely worth the investment. Yes, it takes more time to learn, but the payoff is massive once you get the hang of it. And remember, don't bounce just yet, because that one iMovie strength I mentioned? It's the speed. Nothing beats how fast you can go from idea to finished video. It's great for getting reps in, building momentum, and keeping things fun while you're still learning the ropes. But when you're ready to go deeper, Premiere Pro is sitting right there, ready to take your edits to the next level. So whether you're starting simple or jumping into the deep end, just make sure the software you choose actually matches your goals. That's what makes the editing process exciting, not frustrating.